Recently, the American Chemical Society now wants every chem grad to know there are twelve principles of green chemistry. So, if I manage a small life science lab, how do I start swapping in greener solvent or biocatalyst today? And what metric convinced the team to switch? It's worth it. I think what what has happened over time is that folks coming out of great universities are trained in the certain ways to use chemicals, reagents, and other things to make their science work, right? Now, more green chemistry is available through the major suppliers. Middle Four Sigma, Thermo Fisher, all these major suppliers have green chemistry, green chemical options. So what you should do, one, when you share chemicals with your partners in your building, in your incubator, in your other lab spaces, can you convert your science to a green chemistry basis? So you're keep, keeping the toxics out of the environment. I would lean on your supplier, say, I want to move in this direction. How do you help me move in this direction economically and make my science mm -hmm. be as sustainable as possible?